Dorset, more specifically the Winspit Quarry. Look at this place. We're on the Jurassic Coast and I'm here with Jay aka Goody Bushcraft and Mark and Danny are just out there and we've come for an overnighter. I mean it's quite a long way to come for an overnighter. It's like 200 and something miles in the car, that, but you cannot sense? put a price on corners, can you, Jay? You really can't. Even in the middle of a fuel crisis. <laughs> <laughs> what fuel crisis? We've got to push it back. Yeah. But yeah, we've come for an overnighter and it's such beautiful weather. It's October and we're going to bivy on the cliffs above the sea. So this quarry, Danny was just telling us, part of it was used in the new Star Wars series. I believe it was used in the Doctor Who, I think there's the Daleks base as well, is that what you said Jay? Yeah, probably Something so, yeah. like that? Yeah, yeah. I think but, quite a few things, quite a few different things. And he also said that a lot of the quarries uh, in this area the stone was used to build the cathedrals in the UK, so we'll fact check that one. <laughs> what a place. It's unique. Let's explore more. How you doing, fellas? Gorgeous, isn't it? It's just, what a place, mate. Look at your sea view out here. This is just amazing. Look at that. This is October, people. Beautiful day, and what a beautiful place. I spent quite a bit of time on the Jurassic Coast over the years. Beautiful place like Lulworth Cove and Dirtledore. And it's just so nice to be back here again. Steph and I came to Lulworth Cove and Dirtledore a few months ago, and it was so busy, but there's not many people around today. It's going to be nice when everyone goes and we just find a nice place to camp. Not bad this is it Jay? It'll do mate, it'll You do. don't get many of these to the pound do you? No. <laughs> it was worth a drive man. It was, yeah. Such a great spot. I do like these like post-industrial um, areas but there's so many amazing spots to camp it's like where do you choose Danny's got a spot earmarked that I think he camped at before and it's just the other side of the, uh, the quarry from here but keen to explore more also keen for a swim as well I did bring my speedos with me <laughs>
water looks really inviting. And as we're here, it'd be rude not to have a dip. It looks absolutely freezing, but we'll give it a go. Swimming. Oh, nah, fair play, man. Fair play. <laughs> refreshing. I would. Uh... It's refreshing, which is code word for freezing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I jumped in, mate, you'd have to rescue me because. Uh... It's not too bad either. Swimming is not my strong point. So refreshing. We've been about half an hour, I think, we're in for something like that. What do you reckon? Yeah, but it was. In October. In October. Yeah, Started yeah. to get cold towards the end, but when I first got in, it was really nice. Right. It's time to head up to the camp spot now which is just off to the, let me think, east of where we had a quick swim there. Oh, it was so nice. I feel like a million pesetas now. <laughs> oh, cool. This is just a little bit strange. Is this where they um, keep the tea rakes? <laughs> We're thinking those um, caged off entrances must lead to a deeper cave um, or deeper mine which they've decided to close off look at the color of the sea there where we're swimming it's beautiful who needs the caribbean okay i think this is home for the night Pretty spectacular views from camp. Time to get pitched up. I say pitched up, just got a bivvy, that's it. Bivvy, no tarp, just there. That'll do nicely. Look at that for a spot. I mean, I might drag it back over there, but I mean, for the purpose of the video and for the purpose of the thumbnail, it's looking good there. I might leave it there for a while, we'll see. Be nice to be right there, wouldn't it? Do you know what, I think I will camp there. Why not? It's a fair old drop down there, but I'm not gonna roll that much. Really has turned into a beautiful evening. The sea is really calm and still. We saw some seals just earlier on, skipping in and out of the water. There's been a bit of boat traffic coming through. Lighthouse on the point down there, just south of Swanage. I forgot what the name of it is now. I'll flash it on screen. But it's such a beautiful coastline. Um, from here at Swanage, all the way down, it's very, very undulating down to like Weymouth and places like that. So glad we're here, really glad. When I left Sheffield this morning, it was raining. And then we're here basking in weather that would be fit for summer. I'm feeling another swim in the morning, you know. Hopefully we we'll managed to get a bit of footage there. Um, forgot the GoPro, or I just didn't bring it. I just didn't think to bring it. Um, Jay took some video and Danny took some video with his GoPro, but yeah. 
I am absolutely lost for words. And as is customary, it's time for a celebratory one. Or two. Or six. Cheers. Yeah, Cheers. Awesome. Welcome. The brew dog. <laughs> Cheers. Now half past six, so the sun has set. So it won't be long before we lose the light, but we've got head torches and we'll get some food on the go shortly. We, um, another three guys just walked past a moment ago. I think we've stolen their spot. In fact, they told us we'd stolen their spot, jokingly like. Um, they're camping just further off along the cliff. It's food time. Get some chilli on the go. Everyone's cooking away. Jay's on the traditional hexi. What have you got, Mark? One of those warming bags? Yeah, flameless heat pack, whatever you call them. FRH, flameless ration heat. <laughs> what have you got there, Danny? Chicken tikka and rice in a wayfarer on a crusader. Very precariously balanced. <laughs> <laughs> So Jay's about to light Danny's eco grill. What do we say it was? Older? Older, yeah. So it's, it's With a bit of charcoal in the middle. Oh, that's cool. So you've got like the, proper, the normal wood, some charcoal, and a fire lighter in the middle. So that's really cool. I've never seen one. It's a really good idea. Instead of a normal disposable barbecue. Cheers, Danny, for bringing it. Thanks to my mum for the birthday present. Cheers, Danny's mum. Cheers, Danny's mum. Cheers, thank you very much. We've been cranking out the UCO matches, no expense spared. <laughs> spared no expense. I like that idea though, because this is going to burn with the, with the charcoal, it's going to burn a little while, isn't it? I yeah, I hope so. I might invest in a, a couple. Yeah, I normally keep a fire log in my van. Right Jay's then. going to get a pallet load, aren't you, Jay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, Jay says a, when Jay says a couple, that's yeah. it, pallet load. <laughs> Okay, well it's around about midnight now and it's been a really great evening. We've just been sat down on the cliff edge just there listening to different sorts of music and all chatting amongst ourselves. It's been a thoroughly enjoyable night, it really has. So I think it's time to get in the bivvy bag on the cliff edge here and uh, try and get a good night's sleep. But we'll definitely be waking up for the sunrise. It's going to rise off that way around about 7am so let's see if we get a clear morning. Okay to get in the bivvy. Catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning. And it is a good morning. I must admit, I did have quite a reasonable amount of sleep last night. Um, woke up probably about 10 times, but that is always the way, isn't it? We were discussing this on the way down yesterday that when someone says I've had a good night's sleep in a tent, they're lying because you don't have a good night's sleep in a tent or a bivvy. You have a reasonable amount of sleep or a terrible, terrible amount of sleep. But last night was reasonable. It was passable. Not much in the way of sunrise this morning. There's a nice, or there's a layer of cloud just blocking the show. 
but it's still a beautiful morning. Really nice to wake up to the sound of the waves crashing against the rocks and the seagulls and all manner of different birds in the quarry. And what a night it was last night. Really great, really enjoyed it. I'm feeling another swim, you know, just to freshen up. Or at least just, just go and wash my face in the, in the sea. That'd be nice. Morning, fellas. Morning. Morning. How's it going? Amazing, man. Amazing. How'd you sleep? And let's be honest. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, ten being <laughs> the best sleep ever, one being the worst. Too hot. Yeah. Four yeah. and a half. Four and a half. That's not too bad for camping, though, is it? No, it's like, you know, like Dino says, you don't sleep good in a biffy bag. I'll go more with the sevens after all them beers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <you're> <laughs> yeah. I think I'll go on record every time that I've spoken a YouTube video saying I had a really good sleep last night, I was lying. Yeah, I was lying. So, if I yeah. said really not sleep, I was lying too. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> These things happen. Yeah. I'm without the dog. Sorry about it. <laughs> Look at the view. Fabulous. We're all packed up and heading out. As always, as is tradition, no trace left whatsoever. We've cleaned up the fireplace, we've carried out all our rubbish, and that's the key thing. That's yesterday's swim spot. The tide's well in now. Beautiful though. A few more jellyfish out there this morning, so decided against the swim. But last night's was, as I said before, truly exhilarating and refreshing. That's the end of another great adventure. Thank you very much guys. Yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure. Awesome time. Oh, yeah. Great to meet you Danny. Too, great to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Not so great to meet you, Jay, but. <laughs> okay, as always, thanks for watching. I'll put some links in the description for the location and places like that, things like that. But I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye for now. Cheers. Yes.